Hello, I'm now at home here in Kerala, you know, and I'm here after two years. So it's my old house decades ago that we built and uh, how this house looks like and how is my life here in Kerala. So I will take you a virtual tour of my house here. And uh, yeah, this is this is how a typical middle class family uh, the house is, you know, nothing luxurious about it. It's a very, very simple house. But what I love about this house is that it's so very close to the nature and something that I completely miss out in my later life. So whenever I'm here, I feel that I'm really close to the nature. And by the way, you can hear some song in, in on the background. So that is because in this house, our neighbor is a temple. So that the song which you're hearing is actually broadcasted by the temple right now, it is in the evening. So every evening and every morning, the temple broadcasts uh, the song. So yeah, come with me, I'll show you this small house and uh, how the life in a typical middle class uh, neighborhood is. Uh, by the way, this house is decades old. You know, and uh, this is where I actually spend my childhood days. So uh, it's very nostalgic. This is how our, uh, you know, this is our uh, living room is. Uh, by the way, this is, you know, the uh, the flooring. Uh, it's my choice. So it's, uh, you know, it's very old. And look at that. It's pretty neat. Uh, though nothing much really happened. So basically, today I came after almost two years. It's completely locked up. But still, see, it's not that very... Uh, you know uh, untidy or something so this is this works you know this is not that expensive Italian marble or something this is actually Kadapa marble from uh, I think Hyderabad and it is not that expensive too and this typical design uh, you know it, it has got its own beauty isn't it it's uh, typical it's, I think it's a British style not really sure so this is where uh, my my room is it's a small room so as you can see that this is the bed and oh yeah I have a partner here so the cute teddy is my partner so look at here the beauty of this house here as I, I told you this window is not a French window I think it's maybe it's a Victorian style window and uh, the windows both the sides and lots of natural lights come inside uh, it's really really nice feeling that you get so basically this house is situated in the midst of a kind of a forest area so this side is the temple as you can see that that's temple and this side is like uh, uh, you know it is like a, an empty land you know so that this is how that house looks like it's a it's a small mirror and this is the, the attached bathroom so let me put the light on so this is how the bathroom is pretty fine for one person to live in you know sometimes to come in and uh, yeah to live so this is how that house and uh, yes so this is the bedroom so as you can see here this is uh, you know it's a wooden shelf built inside uh, the uh, the wall you know very old style but it works it's perfectly fine you know the, I have another shelf here and uh, and on the, this side you can see that a lot of space where we can put the stuff in an extra stuff so well of course we don't really have anything extra so there's nothing to put in but this uh, this design looks perfectly fine. Of course, you need to have a small ladder to climb up to access this place. You know, otherwise, it's going to be a bit tougher. All right. So this is yeah. This is the living area. So as you can see that this is like a showcase that we built long time back. But uh, you know, this area is kind of uh, uh, humid, and you can see that a lot of uh, you know the ter termites sweep in so i ha i had to remove the entire stuff and keep somewhere else you know so you can see that termite infestation so this visible uh, problems happen up in this is how what you can what you really expect right after such a long time two years nobody was living here and still you know it is much better than the worse off right and this is our prayer room let me put the light on to the prayer room you can see it so this prayer room is very interesting because almost everything is made by mother, my mother so you can see that shiva and uh, you know this is uh, vishnu bhagavan right and this is uh, lakshmi ayyappa you can see ayyappa here and uh, other statues you can see that right krishna ganesha and uh, this one is another uh, you know tinted glass uh, design of uh, uh, you know the uh, Ganpati 
and this is Subramanya. All these are done by my mother, you know, and she she loved to do this, you know, spend her time, free time on this tinted glass and other kind of artist work. For example, this is another work of her. Uh, yeah, she's she's not here living. So basically, she's uh, she's with my sister in in Kochi. So. I'll have to spend my next one week here alone, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I'm enjoying. So this one is very interesting. This is basically the rice husk. So this is a prasad from Kottayur temple, uh, which is in this Kannur district. Another one is this. This is basically, uh, you know, this is a, a bamboo bamboo shoot, which they beat to make this kind of a design. This is also from a temple. So as you can see, this is also a temple thing. Oh yeah, I have a small brass bell here. Oh, this is really old. It's there with us since time immemorial. So as this, so look at here, this is Pasma Kotta. So it's basically wooden, you know, teak wood. And uh, yeah, I remember even during my early schoolings, I, you know, we used to have it on uh, another house that we had. So here inside we keep the pasma in it. Pasma is basically the, you know, the wooden ash, isn't it? So that you put that in on your forehead, especially after Shiva, you know, the puja with the Lord Shiva. So this is the pasma, pasma kunta, you know. I mean, this kind of stuff. We, after such a long time, if you see it, you really take, you know, this uh, paraphernalia will take you back many years many decades to your childhood days right that childhood remnants you get it instantly by the look of this kind of uh, stuff that you have i completely forgotten even it's on existence you know before i came here today right so that's that's kind of funny and that's kind of nice to feel so this is how the living area i told you and this is our another bedroom well nothing so special about this bedroom is i use it as a, a you know my workplace for for doing my classes and other stuff the project work well i'm planning today only i came in here right so yeah this is how the house is again as i told you this the bedroom each bedroom have got very nice two uh, big uh, windows which opens up to the the nature so yeah this is this is the beauty of this house lots of nature in it you know and now if you let's go to another room this is our small bedroom guest bedroom of course you can see it it's really messy you see that this is a pedestal fan but we covered it very nicely it's all done by my mom so she whenever we go out for a long time of course two years no one touched it so see that we actually closed it so that dust will not enter so it's very systematic way of uh, arranging the things look at here this is a hanger it's also wooden hanger you know so all this stuff is with us for such a long time i haven't seen it for a very long time so it's it's kind of nice now you can see it here this is my uh, you know bookshelf again all these books are really old see so yeah not much of collection but still it's a smallish thing and uh, yeah no one was touching it for a really long time you know now i'll take you to my uh, dining room right so this is the dining area and only today I bought so many stuff for me to cook for the next one week. So I bought something which I completely miss out in my days in Punjab. For example, uh, yeah, for example here, look at here. This is the typical banana here. This is called Nendra, Nendra Param. So Nendra banana is, uh, I, I haven't seen anywhere else in the world. Only here in, in uh, you know, in Kerala that you get it. And uh, yeah, of course, Kerala is exporting this one to the US and Europe, European Union. And uh, as I came across uh, off late, the Nendra variety is also found in uh, Brazil and other Latin America. So it's really nice. And another kind of banana is that I don't know how many of you have seen it. This is, uh, you know, it's a very small banana, Cherubaram we call. So this is so delicious, little bit savory, you know. And yeah, it's very, very nice. I completely miss this sort of two bananas in my life in Punjab and yeah this is now it is the mango season so I'm, I'm excited to have a lot of mangoes so I'm planning to make mango pulisheri you know uh, param pulisheri maybe tomorrow and I also got stuff for me to live for the next one week so of course I planned very nicely <laughs> well before almost one week back I planned it what exactly I have to uh, get it 
for you know for enjoy my life for the next one week so that this is it you know of course it has got uh, coconut oil which usually i don't use but i want to feel the presence here in kerala the land of coconut so i got this you know muller brand of coconut which I, I don't know that but yeah well this is another one this is uh, basically owl for my breakfast i'm gonna make it and uh, you know yeah right from the salt onwards well there's nothing here right you can see that even uh, the mustard seed and uh, jira right uh, the chili flakes and oh yeah we i also bought a little bit of uh, you know this is rajma from uh, kashmir that my student uh, wahid oh thanks wahid uh, for gifting me this uh, many months back so yeah a pack of this uh, will go to my mom's place as well to my sister i'm going to gift her so this is it's really delicious uh, you know food uh, also a little bit of dal and oh yes this one is very special rice that you won't find anywhere else only in kerala you get you see that this is in poet's imagination this is the brown rice wearing sari you know this is basically a red sari wearing rice you can see it this is called palakkad matta rice it's very very large thick not really long unlike a basmati rice so this is this is very delicious I'm, I'm already planning to make it tonight so i already socked it and i also got uh, the lime pickle from a brand called sabari i never know that this this brand name sabari usually i buy priya pickle but that that brand is not there maybe that the brand is gone out of fashion now i don't know so yeah that is how the things are that the stuff I, I bought today and look at here this kind of glass is also very typical of kerala you know i or rather south india right this is a madrasi style madras filter coffee also comes kind of similar kind of glass uh, yeah this really gives me you know a lot of uh, thoughts and uh, nostalgia nostalgic moments of my childhood uh, if you have some stuff in this kind of glass the you know the the steel glass right small and large i'm going to have uh, something in it you know maybe coffee or uh, or lassi i can make punjabi style lassi yeah so that's what and uh, yeah this house has got lots of memories from all around the world actually you can see it here this is uh, a gift for, by my one of my friend takahashi song from japan she gifted this particular uh, you know tea also to my mom when she was with me uh, in in Japan you know so this one or this one is also Japanese definitely my mom must know it all I don't know and yeah this is it's pretty good uh, that but you know everything is preserved nicely that is uh, what really surprised me though nobody was living here for the last two years two long years you know and this is our kitchen a smallish kitchen as you can see it the matta rice i soft it you know and uh, the very nice aspect of this house and this locality is the water the water is really really good and it's it's tedious i measured last year uh, last last year when i came here and the tedious was approximately 10 or something it's really nice and clean you know uh, yeah the the water is the beauty of this area and the gas i'm not using it it's really old one and uh, it's not safe to use you can see that it's rusted here i'm not going to touch it because i have uh, induction here so this induction works perfectly fine if you are staying here for one or two weeks alone because you know that's that's fine that's better than going with the uh, the gas you know subscription based uh, lpg cylinder not really good and this is another thing which i just took out to make this video uh, this is we call it as uruli you know this uruli is uh, made up of brass and if you're watching my videos in the youtube channel you will know that the brass uh, is not good for eating i mean you know this this actually leaches out so many stuff the copper and which is not really good for health wise but still it's very traditional and it's with us since my childhood days time immemorial i can say uh, yeah so lots of memories uh, you know if I look at this kind of uruli, which we use it for making payasam. Payasam is basically, you know, kheer. And uh, yeah, uruli, you can make a nice payasam in it. And payasam, of course, it, it doesn't have any acidicity. So usually acidic food, if you cook in uh, brass or bronze or copper, is more dangerous. 
but if you're cooking non-acidic food is not that very dangerous you know the, the, it's just a it's an alkaline i would say it is it's it's milk right it's not really lactic acid right so and this one you can see that we 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 use this one for making kareyappam so this is kara this also brass is very very heavy you know see it's pretty heavy and as you can see that it really need a lot of cleaning uh, you know so because on the side you see that if you look carefully you can see uh clavu we call in malayalam so this is basically the oxidation of the copper so we really have to remove all this thing by uh, you know by polishing it i can do it it needs some time and i'm planning to do in, in the course of one week and another very interesting thing here in, in this uh, house i mean it's typical of every house in, in in kerala is this sort of stuff you might not have seen it what is this so it's basically a, a, a you know it's basically steel with inside there is another layer this double layered with a uh, uh, vacuum insulator so inside it's basically insulated uh, you know vacuum insulated uh, double layer steel so you know what is is some something like oh yeah you can see it there is a there is a you know there is a uh, uh, insect in it can you see it arachnid it's a spider oh look at that spider oh wow so a spider was growing inside it yeah so this one is basically uh, used for you know cooking the rice so it's not really we use directly and the flame we cook it in another vessel and we put that vessel inside this particular uh, vessel and we close it so let that uh, you know that spider be inside so it's safe I'm going to I'm not gonna kill the spider I love spider I love all the insects you know that's part of the ecosystem right so yeah that is what so what we do is that we actually boil the the rice and keep it inside so we don't actually spend time cooking the rice just boil it this rice just boil it and close the lid and then put inside and let that heat alone cook it so you know this is a very energy saving device uh, chudara petty it is actually designed fast here in kerala by uh, kerala shastra sahitya parishad in thermocol box so this one is a step uh, one step ahead of it you know after after that of course the invention of this thermocol chudara petty parishad's chudara petty this sort of inventions hit the market so this is really energy efficient way of uh, cooking the rice which i haven't seen anywhere else in india correct me if i'm wrong or you can write in the show notes of this video right and uh, yeah that's it you can see that here this is my old fridge and the fridge magnet even this has a story to say this is uh, you know this magnet i got it from uh, in 2009 which sit to the natural history museum in london so at that time it was uh, the anniversary of the darwin's uh, you know the uh, Darwin's uh, publication of the origin of species. So uh, this is the illustration of the tree of life by the Darwin the original illustration you see I think this and that so this is I got it from the Natural History Museum in Cromwell uh, in the UK and look at this this one is last year last year is basically a small monkey uh, the smallest known monkey species in the world and this is a, this is actually the life size uh, true to its size you know the last year uh, got it from Japan, you know, <laughs> it's very cute, isn't it? I, I love this, uh, the eye of this last year, it's really, really nice. So, yeah, this is, uh, and yes, if you look at here, we this is really old house, and still look, we we have all this, uh, uh, you know, this is kind of a fake modular kitchen type, and yeah, it, it's, it's it works, you know, it's not really modular, but yeah, this kind of things you can open it up, and then you know, you, know, you can keep it stuff in it, uh, you yeah. know. This is all my mom's ideas. You can see it here. Lots of steel stuff that we have and aluminium. So another steel one. And uh, so here we have the food processor Philips. I haven't tested it. Maybe it might work. And I might not need it because I'm gonna have a very simple food. I already have my, <laughs> my recipe, what I'm gonna make it in this week. So all these things, you know, are kept inside and I'm um, really surprised to see nothing happened to all these things for example the wine glass which not for wine drinking but of course it's for the, the juice drinking and yeah everything is perfectly fine and the glass look at here 
very nice cute glasses and uh, yeah so inside this let's see what is there inside you can see that some sort of stuff in it and here also some again steel what i really love about the, the life in this kind of countryside is that not much of plastics you can see every single thing is steel and steel lasts really long you know and very co-friendly last lifetime i can see that this plate i've been using for i would say minimum 20 years you know most of the stuff is really that old and still no problem so that is that's the beauty of oh yeah you can see here on the top of here so this one let me uh, focus it so this one is uh, to drink kuja we call this is kuja and uh, this this one is uh, you know earthenware to drink the water i think i will take it out and i will i'll put some water in it and the water is definitely going to taste for good and let's go to this side now so this is our uh, you know this is our work area i can say so the this work area's biggest advantage is uh, this one so the big not advantage rather the attraction I can say yeah so this one is basically uh, not this this is actually we use it for uh, you know for uh, water from the well taking out the water so this one is basically the uh, it's a stove you know manual stove for the wood so we can put the wood here of course being in a countryside the advantage is that we get lots of wood you can see outside all these are our area so we can take out the wood and use it directly and the dis disadvantage with a uh, wooden uh, manual stove is lots of smoke isn't it but this design is smoke free or smoke less so it is really really less smoke because the smoke gets through uh, there is a subterranean pipe here and the pipe goes through this chimney you know so this design is really nice if you if you want to uh, live in a countryside place a village with lots of wood in it and uh, Yeah, without smoke of course smoke is really dangerous. You might know that uh, You know it is as dangerous more dangerous than smoking cigarettes, right this uh, uh, cooking in uh, directly with the uh, the Wood so this one is this, this is a very nice idea of this this sort of uh, uh, Yeah, uh, the stove. I'm not gonna use it for sure because I really don't have that much time to experiment with and uh, as you can see all this stuff is steel and uh, not much of the plastic so that is that's the beauty of this place you know and yeah this is where we keep our uh, you know the wash washed uh, utensils the dishes the dish drying rack and uh, yeah we have a, a, another bathroom here this is the bathroom and uh, yes so now let's go to the other side of the house and here we can go if I open up this is our main door as you see the door we, we made it with the brass so you know this sort of brass or copper is uh, of course there are reports saying that it's antibacterial too it's pretty good so I hope this is the light I'm not sure yes the lights are on now so this area is really nice this is basically our veranda and it's completely open you see that there is nothing it's only a grills and the free airflow comes in and it's really nice perhaps the best part of my entire house here is this veranda i spend a lot of my time here uh, i can you know if i sit here i can the the scene is remarkable all the nature i can see and the fresh air i get you can see that the that is basically the you know this is from the temple the sound you are getting uh, look at here this is you know this one is the stones i kept on a small uh, vase so this brings me back to the current moment you know the copy time of the stoic philosophy so this is really i mean it's pretty close to the nature you know that kind of feeling that i get if i hold it if i touch it if i see it i feel that Appreciate the small joys in your life, isn't it? And this is another stuff I want to show you. I hope you can see it. So this one is a very old uh, bookshelf. So basically, you put the books here, books here, and some books here. So this is wooden, and that's it. 
it just shows you it emphasize the board uh, emphasize the the books on the space you can fold it you know of course I need uh, to be cleaned nicely you know you can see that it needs a bit of polishing too I think I can do it a bit later but I like this concept you know books giving books uh, a very important place in on your space uh, you know the books this particular stand accentuate the book on your space that is what I feel oh yeah I also got this guy cable and uh, hammock from Decathlon so this hammock I'm gonna uh, you know tie between the two uh, arachnid trees uh, you know or the the coconut trees I have to uh, wait and watch maybe I have to wear a helmet because uh, I'm a bit scared of this uh, coconut it might fall onto your head you know the coconut we have coconuts here see that let me zoom on yay these are the coconuts and we also have areca plants you know all these are arachnids. you know and uh, this is how the house is you can see it and this is our main door main uh, gate and this is our the neighbor and uh, you can see that these are a kind of foresty area backside and on this side as well so we are living right inside nice uh, woody area and on the top of this house we have uh, a, a space to dry our you know stuff you know uh, of course it's not a uh, dual uh, storied house it's only single storied but on the top it's just an empty space where we can put dry our uh, you know the cloth and other stuff the food for example if you want to to make uh, the the dried pickle we use that area you know so that's it i hope you like my house and it's a it's a very small house it's very old house and uh, as i was telling you the the biggest beauty or attraction of this house is uh, you know the proximity to the nature and lots of windows all around the house that gets in the fresh air and light so that artificial lighting can be um, uh, almost awarded in this house you know that is that is what so you can see it here there are hibiscus you know let me show you the hibiscus it's almost closing because uh, it's the day is almost over you know so this is where i would like to end thank you for watching this video i hope you like it thank you have a nice day and please take care of yourself and if you can take care of someone else too bye bye